What's up guys? Today I want to talk. I want to talk about the big one for now. Don't. Bruh, I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I have no idea what I was thinking because this show is ass. This show is horrible, bro. Don't watch the show. I beg of you, don't watch the show. This show is the worst thing on TV. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, I was rooting for you. I was rooting for the penguin this entire time. I was like, all right, I understand, I understand. Bro, what? 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 I had hope. I had, bro, I had hope. Y'all don't understand. I had hope. I was like, oh, man, this guy, he's really the underdog, man. I understand. I don't like people making fun of me either. I get it. And then, bruh, bruh, this guy really is a POS. This guy is a piece of work, man. This guy is the lowest of the low of the... He needs help. He needs to be locked up in Arkham. Who wrote this, bruh? Who wrote this? Cause I get, I, I kept getting tired of him finding a way out. He's a snake, bro. He's a just a dirty dog. He's like a just a freaking leech. He's the worst thing in Gotham. And then I start thinking to myself, wait, this is the penguin. The penguin isn't taken seriously. He's not even that high on the roster of, of Batman villains. And then I start thinking to myself, bro. If this guy is such a freaking scumbag, just the lowest of the low, what do, what do they have planned for the Joker? Like, who? I, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. I don't see this Batman going toe to toe with these people, bro. They are just creating, molding these absolute vile, vicious people. And I'm just like, this is, this is the bottom. Bro, there is way, there's a whole hierarchy of evil going on. And this is the bottom of the evil? Bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to, I would never go to Gotham. I don't care how cheap the rent is. I don't care what's happening in, in Gotham. Bro, they could offer me a mansion for like $20 a month. I'd be like, I'm good. I'm going to Metropolis. Gotham is garbage. Absolute trash. I'm looking at this, bro, of, 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 of Falcones and just, just all the dynamics that are going on. This guy just, man, it is a horrible but amazing show. I think this is honestly going down as top, what, top? At least top three of, 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 of comic to, to live TV shows, depictions out there. I'm sorry. It's up there, bro. It's really up there. And it. I don't know, man. That that uh, that last episode, because I was like, okay, that second to last episode, I was like, uh, maybe I didn't understand what was going on, right? Because I was like, I know, I know, Cobblepot didn't do that to his brothers. I like, I know, I know that I'm, I maybe, I maybe misunderstanding, right? I may be misunderstanding, bro. That last episode, that uh, man, that it really laid it out for everyone. It really laid it out. It was like, I, w listen, this guy's not a good guy, right? In episode one, he's not a good guy. All right, he's not a good guy. It's like, all right, all right. Episode two, he's not a good guy. We're just reminding you he's not a good guy, <laughs> right? All the way up. It's just like, no, I, no, he's he can do it. He can do it. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, he really wasn't a good guy after all. <laughs> he really was. He really wasn't a good guy after all. I think Colin Farrell was talking about. It. He was like, "Oh, I think I can see. You know how people may, you know, have sympathy for him in the first episode." He's like, "By the end of the episode, eight episode, I was like, I don't think anybody's gonna like the guy." I would be surprised if anyone liked him by the end of eight. When I read it, yeah, he was very likable in the first episode, kind of likable in the second episode, a little bit less in the third. By the time I finished the eighth episode, just reading it, I was knackered, <laughs> and I just thought, "Oh, Jesus, this is awful." Darn. Have, I, I was like, I actually asked the producer, I said, have, have HBO signed off on all this? Bro, that is the understatement of the freaking century, bro. That is the understatement of the year. This guy, man, is sick. He is sick in the head, bro. He is, he needs to be put down. Honestly, don't send him to Arkham. And then what he did to, to her, my, oh, bro, how sick, that's wicked. This is like House of Cards on steroids, bro. Cause that was wicked. That is vile, bro. That is vile. I'm, I don't want to spoil anything, but having what he did to her to put her back, 
Bro, that's cold-blooded. That's cold-blooded, because he traumatized her, right? He definitely had her fear, fe fearing for her life. And then all, you know, the police and everything, I was like, oh, oh, that's wicked. Oh, that's evil. That's cold-blooded. That is cold-blooded. I guess it's just really preying on like the worst, the worst part of us. I think that's what it boils down to. It's really, there are people, if they can really uh, speak to the worst part of humanity, to the worst part of every single person, man, they, you know, that's a moment between, you know, a peace and freaking absolute war. And it's just, this guy is sick, man. This guy is sick. He's really sick. And even at the end, I had, there were certain moments I was like, you know what, come on. I was still rooting to an extent. After he left his guys to die, right? After he did a, a whole bunch of messed up stuff, I was like, he's not that bad, bro. He's not that bad. It's, I don't know. It, it reminds me of like being in an abusive relationship, bro. That's what I felt like. I felt like I was in an abusive relationship, okay? And everyone was trying to tell me, yo, Lucas, you know, this is a bad guy. Remember, the penguin's a bad guy. I say, hey, listen, you guys just, you have him, you don't understand him like I do, okay? You have him confused. You, you, you're not, you're not getting it. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I don't, um, I, I'm really speechless, bro. I'm really speechless at that last episode. And it's just like, I don't even, I, I think they've done irreparable harm to me as an audience member, because I don't want to see season two, bro. Like, I want this guy to die. Like, genuinely. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see this guy. I don't want to see this character anymore, bro. I don't want to see him. I want Batman to whoop this man's butt. That's what I want. I want broken bones, broken noses, broken legs. That's what I want right now. That's genuinely what I want right now. I don't want a season two. I don't want to see this guy rise up. And I, I think he's the scum of the earth, bro. That's what I think. And I, I just, I just feel betrayed. I was just like, <sighs> all of this all along for him to do what he did, bro. For him to end it like that, just, just filth, man. Just freaking filth. Just absolute degenerate garbage, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know how Batman does, I don't know how Batman does it, to be honest with you. I really don't know. I really don't know, cause that is, um, <sighs> that is something else, man. And then how he, Y'all saw how he pickpocketed, right? He just went through his pockets, took his money. Oh, God. Ah! Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to see the Penguin too. I don't want to see, I don't want to see any season two, bro. I don't, I mean, I don't know how we go from here. Genuinely, I don't know how you make someone more unlikable, like absolutely revolting, repulsive. Than, than this guy, like, cause we still have the Joker, right? We still have the Joker, they've introduced the Joker. So I'm just like, how? Like, what are you doing? Like, how, how, how do we go lower than this, bruh? How do we go lower? You're telling me there's further depths of depravity that, that are untouched right now in this universe? <sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just think um, when that happened, I, I, I just, it left me sick in my stomach. It really, it left me uneasy, bruh. Left me uneasy. I was like, uh, I don't feel like eating right now. I just, I need to go to bed. Cause it's one thing of it being like a show, but then you start thinking about it. It's like, I bet there are probably people out there like that, bruh. <laughs> I, bet, I bet there are probably politicians out there like that. I bet there are probably people out there that have done stuff like this to get where they are. And then you start really just getting to a dark space, a dark place, and just realizing, well, this isn't really, this isn't a show. This is the real world in many cases, probably. I'm just ignorant to it. I'm just not privy to some of the degenerate and disgusting and villainous behavior that is out there. And it's just... You start really thinking, bro. You start having like a, a <laughs> start having, you start having like the breakdowns and stuff. Just, oh man, I don't know, man. I just, you start questioning your reality, start questioning the world, start questioning <laughs> what am I? <laughs> Who am I? Uh, just, it, it's a good show. Okay, it's 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 a good show because it does what it aims to do, bro. It gives you the story of this guy. It lets you know who he is, the world that is Gotham, 
and it, it, it really set you up because it's like, yo, I don't, I don't even know how Batman does it, to be honest with you. Like, how do you do that? I get like the whole concept is like Batman is the true face of Bruce Wayne and Bruce Wayne is like the facade. But I'm just like, how do you do that, man? Dealing with scum like this night after night after night after night and then having to put on, you know, a smiley face in front of the media and hold up appearances. It's, um, ah, man. It's, it's interesting. I, I, I watch a show. I won't say that I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed the show for what it was. I didn't enjoy what happened, okay? I didn't enjoy what happened, not at all, but I enjoyed the show for what it was. I enjoyed The Penguin for who it was, for what the show was aiming for, the characters, the acting. Everything about the show is, is A. is A plus, bro. It's A tier. It's as simple as that. It's A tier. I, I I don't know any show that holds holds a candle to the show, to be honest with you. I don't I don't know. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know, because I would love to watch it. But right now, this is peak. This is this is peak, bruh. Absolute peak. Anyways, that's the video. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe. Till next time, guys. Keep animating.